Hi, uh, let me show you a couple of things about the greater project, the project where you work on your own to complete steps in the actual Microsoft product, Word, Excel, or Access. I want to show you how to look up the results of your submission so that you can improve the score on this project. So first of all, uh, I'm going to uh, open the greater project just so you see which assignment uh, we're, we're talking about. So this is the assignment where you're going to first download the instructions. You can print those out. You're going then to upload a completed attempt and then you will receive feedback. So let's go ahead and see how we got here. I'm going to uh, re-navigate back uh, way back to Blackboard. In Blackboard you will click on My IT Lab Course Home you, of course, can use the content as well, but Course Home is uh, my next screen. From here, I'll go to Assignment Calendar, and in the Assignment Calendar, in order to see the uh, correct assignment, I have to click on the due date, uh, and here I can see my greater project at the bottom. I can also get there by going the, to the To-Do list, and then under To-Do, I should see a nice outline of the uh, current assignments. And so we can see uh, the assignments here, the two quizzes, uh, the simulation. Now I'll go ahead and uh, switch back to the completed assignments because my greater project was scored above 70%. Uh, Pearson says, okay, you have passed, it's going to be okay. However, you might choose to improve on uh, on this result. So what you can do is next to the greater project in whichever view you are looking at it, click on the little options menu or a chevron next to the uh, the assignment. Here make sure to click view submissions. So under view submissions we are now going to click on the row that has your grade. Again, this is not marked very well in terms of uh, user interface, but uh, please make sure to click on uh, the grade next to the date, and that's going to forward you into the, the feedback. So this is important feedback. On the right, under score summary, I have some general information about my assignment, but on the left, I can scroll down through detailed feedback of uh, how my assignment went. What I can do in addition to that is I can click on the chevron next to the red mark, which means that this this um, something's wrong with it. I don't have all five points uh, completed. And when I click on the red, it's going to expand the detail of what actually went right and what is still missing. I can further clarify this by clicking on filter incorrect uh, only, and now I only see the red spaces, and so I can now again click on the red chevron to see the detail per assignment. So this should help us to improve uh, the project. Now remember you do not download a new starter file. You go back to the very project that you built because everything else is fine in that project with the exception of the few uh, marked areas. So you just add, edit and improve on the existing file and then upload the same file again into the greater evaluation system. Now one more trick here would be that you can actually print out this uh, feedback. You can also go to live comments report. I'll go ahead and do that and notice that this allows me to download a Word document. Now let's go ahead and uh, just go through the process of starting this up. And what's nice about this particular document is that it will have uh, all the feedback in an inline comment system. So when there is something that I need to correct, I have that right in the Word document along with it. This is also going to work this way for our Excel projects. And we'll talk later about the Access projects, how this feedback is done a little bit differently. But what a great way to then again look at your project and see exactly what went right and what needs to be improved. So again, in order to access this feedback, you need to find the project, whether in the completed tasks or in the calendar, click on the chevron, 
and then go to view submissions. Thank you very much.